Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with another episode of my FTV Genesis playthrough. And I'm getting this area set up for Pneumatocraft stuff. And I went ahead and tore out two of these shelving units because there's no sense in trying to just cram everything over here. I could, but why? And uh, I've got this set up over here, making yeast here, which is awesome because it doesn't even require air pressure. And then over here, we're going to be making ethanol fluid mixer. And then here is we're going to be making the uh, seed oil, fish oil or whatever you, know, you want to call it. Now, I need to jumpstart the system because over here, I have a flux compressor. So I need to get power to this thing somehow. And then I've got a pressure line running underneath and over this way. And yeah. Then I've got the redstone hooked up so it'll shut off when it hits four and a half bars. Got a five by five by five pressure chamber here just to basically more air. That's the main thing. Just more air. So let's see. Um, now one way I could jumpstart this is grab out this, although it's only done to one seven bars. That's not going to be enough to do anything with, unfortunately. Uh, I kind of killed my system earlier. And it's actually still working. Uh, processing all the quartz. Uh, we've got a lot of inert crystals now, though. And let me put some of the stuff away. There we go. And glycerol. I don't need glycerol right now. I do need to deal with glycerol in the future, though. It's going to mess things up because it's going to fill up this slot here and then it's just going to stop. And I'm going to, well, I can pull items out of the top of this thing, so that should be fine. Oh, hey, look, we're making ethanol. 600 millibuckets of it so far. So I need connectors. Two relays should be enough. My wires. Oh, I left my balloons, didn't I? I think they're over here. Yeah. Didn't want that, though. All right, so. We're some engineering balloon. If you shift right-click, you can add numbers to the end of it up to plus four. And it will place four blocks above what you clicked on. It's a lot easier than having to pillar up or anything else. So, and you need to go here. I'll just bring this over to here. We'll put a connector there. There. So now I have two buckets of biodiesel. <laughs> Look at that not work. Oh, you bastard. Why are you like this? Biodiesel. I'm guessing it only works off of immersive biodiesel, though. All right, so kerosene we can make out of crude oil in a refinery, or biodiesel in another thermonomatic processing plant. And kerosene should work just fine. Actually, if I look up combustion, didn't it actually kind of list? No, it, well, maybe here. No, dang. There was one of the generators that listed off all of the uh, stuff, right? Uh, generators. Yeah, apparently there's like a windmill and solar panels and stuff which we can't make in this mod pack. Uh, let's see, diesel, four times multiplier. Okay. Condensed hydrogen. Usage burns a thousand millibuckets though. 
Wow, that's that's horrible. Um, yeah, crude oil, gasoline, LPG. It doesn't list kerosene though. I was hoping it would. All right, so. I mean, these things will burn pure ethanol, but they're really well, not great at it. Uh, the ones in there are basically just breaking even on top of all the coal that I put over there. So it's it's actually a net loss trying to do ethanol with these stupid things. Um, ethanol. Uses. Fluid mixer. That's about it. Okay. A combustion generator produces seven kilowatts. Cost two. Yeah, you can see here this one does not go into the combustion generator. If I look up the other biodiesel though, this one, this one doesn't list it either. Oh no, here it is. Twenty-eight kilowatts at one millibucket. And theoretically, yes. Uh, can we not just not bucket into this? Is that the problem? Might be the problem. Um, but there is a solution possibly. Uh, let me. Yep, I do have one. All right, cool. Thank you. So for now, let's take that out of here. Yep, that was the problem. Okay. Didn't I have another bucket of biodiesel laying around? Yeah, I think I did. It was over here in this barrel, right? Yeah. All right, so that'll work for now. You are currently getting power. Pressure is at 0 0.09 bars. So it is climbing. This is a massive reservoir, though, for air. Basically, a gigantic pressure tank is what it is. And uh, it's going to take a long, long time to fill up. So one thing I could probably do... Oh, you are out of fuel again. Um... No, nah, I'll keep those. Uh, okay, I don't have any jungle wood in there. I've got charcoal sitting literally right here, though. I usually don't use, like using charcoal because you can blow up your system. Because even when this thing gets a redstone signal, it will keep burning the current piece of fuel that it's working on. So. Oh, I do need this uh, pneumatic wrench, though. Here, you come here. I'm trying to stack a beehives for no reason. Uh, let me grab some concrete out. And let's go back here. I believe I can do this. No, it's like the painter or something, isn't it? Camouflage applicator, this guy. I need an air canister. That's probably doable. Right. The wrench doesn't actually do it. Um, tubes, right. Let me just grab a few of those and drop them off in here so I can craft with them. All right. You to there, request. Did you just go full stupid on me? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think it did just kind of go stupid on me. Uh, I probably don't have a lever, do I? Actually, I don't have blue dye. I do have a lever. Uh, 
Okay, whatever. You know, I don't really care at this point. We'll just do this. And now we can come over to here. Put you in here for a bit. That's going to get some pressure. It's going to take a while. This thing's not the fastest. Uh, let me go back over here, though. And drop these speed upgrades off in here. Now, we do have to worry about heat with this thing. And the more heat it gets, the, the worse off it is. Core machine down to under 50C. Yeah, good luck with that one right now. It's only 95% efficiency right now, so that's okay. I can deal with that. Max production right now is at 41. Yeah, versus 15. So the speed upgrades make a huge difference. All right, 1.9 bars, perfect. Should be more than enough to do what I want to do, which is to cover this up. And the cool thing is it actually shows you where the pipes are too. Really? Okay, that works. And this little jog here, this is where a uh, ME cable is coming through, so. And look at you go. And you use point 0.1 bar to do two. You are still... Wow. Okay. Um, Biodiesel is going to be really good for this thing. All right. We use like 31 millibuckets so far. And it's been burning for a decent amount of time. What is our... 93%? Okay, because it is still kind of warming up. I did put some heat sinks on here to help cool it off a bit. And there's one on the underside that you can't see. And they do hurt, by the way. So watch out. I could also do things like put snow and ice next to it. But uh, ice causes issues whenever it melts. So the other thing we could do is a vortex tube. Which is a way to turn air pressure into heat and cold at the same time. So, electrostatic compressor from lightning strikes. Oh, okay. You know, I don't think it's ever rained. So, yeah, that's the thing. Are you. You are getting pressure. It does take a while to equalize pressure between over here and over there, though, as well. Which is why I have this set up over here, where it's relatively close to the compressor. But, uh... We're going to have to wait a bit. <laughs> Although this generator here is more than capable of powering this without an issue. Even with speed upgrades, which is good. And given how long biodiesel lasts, yeah, biodiesel is definitely the wave of the future on this one. All right, so we're up to three bars of pressure now. And I went ahead and stocked up these machines so they'll just keep running. Uh, it'll back stuff once it hits 16 buckets here. And then I should maybe think about Binary. Although, I don't really... I mean, lubricant would be nice to be able to make. I think I can buy lubricant, though, right? Um, I can sell gasoline, no. Uh, yes, I can buy lubricant at five crystals per bucket. Let me go ahead and... Get this stuff claimed here. Mixed seed, or mixed salad. And duality rings. Increases the effectiveness of magic garlic bread. Alright, I'm curious now. Okay, get out of here. Chroma shard plus bread equals magic garlic bread. 
and chroma shards. I don't know how to get my hands on those yet. Great spectrum is a projectile, though. I mean, that's not bad. And it's a ring, right? Yeah. We've got a lot of ring slots. Hmm, I didn't realize this thing had durability. Makes sense. It's a uh, cyclic bobble. Here we go. Thing. Uh, that needs to go in my farm. Let's go ahead and eat the salad. So how do you make this one anyway? Uh, it's pretty basic. It gives regen for five seconds. All right, I don't need that or that. There we go. Okay. So kerosene is next up here, which we can then refine it into gasoline and then LPG fuel. And that'll give us the ender tanks and a security upgrade. Security upgrade will keep things from blowing up. Among other things. But since I'm not playing on a server, it really only uses it doesn't let things blow up. Which is pretty handy. It can be if you're you know not careful with your airlines. Now we need titanium. Which is over here, so I need agglomeration pad. All right, so we should probably get started on elemental, right? We need a contained crystal. I've made those. I just didn't. Yeah. Uh, here, let's just grab a stack of these. We'll just keep those over here on our table for now. Because there's going to be a lot of things we need to make. Well, there's three of them. Where's... What did chat say? Yeah, it said requested four. Huh, okay. I am really looking forward to having an AE system with real auto-crafting. No, don't do that. Do that. There we go. Oh, hey, cool. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll give me a chance to golden apple, and then we can do element extraction. So I'm going to need a few of these. Here, let me just do this. Yeah, I'll just make up a bunch of these. There we go. And I don't need that. I don't need... Oh, I need the refinery still. Don't need the food mixer or the flux compressor or the inscriber. Don't need the fermentation plant. All right, that's probably good enough for now. So elemental extraction. We need an element extractor. And we need a small element container, which means we need some impaired pipes, which, yeah, we're going to need a lot of uh, a lot of these things here. And <laughs> you. Oh, what are you doing? I mean, and was that so hard? Seriously? Uh, we needed just a piece of glass for this, right? So. There go. There's our container. I need an extractor. And... There it goes. 
All right. Uh, harness the elemental power of the planet towards revivification. You need to create some rudimentary alchemical machines to tap into these naturally occurring energy nodes and transfer the essence from the nodes into infuser to change the nature of mundane materials into something more attuned to the element. You need to set up the container two blocks below the node and the infuser on top of that. The infuser will begin absorbing the element into the container. You can then mine up the container or pipe it directly from below. Okay, now you need that and then that. And... I'm going to contain crystal, core element pipes, drenched aluminum, binder, crystal. Yeah, solar prism here we need is springling. Infused crystals, I'll give me more of those. Swift alloy, nah, do not need right now. There is a way with elemental craft. Move nodes, isn't there? Pure element holder, I have no idea. I need a huge amount of each of those, okay. Uh, different jewels, okay. Consumes air, yeah, so it consumes different. Fire source seed, here we go. Okay, so we need fireite, springling. Oh, we get eight of those, though? And a natural one, okay, here we go. Fire source receptacle. Right, that's the thing I think I need. And that'll let me move nodes. Um, source stabilizer is a thing, but we need swift alloy and springling blast for that. So I think it just makes the actual receptacle once we do this. Uh, displacement plate, though, we need pristine gems of the proper type. Okay, so pristine gems, gem crystallization, that's a little ways away. Here's a question. Element containers. Or element holders. Okay, so we do not upgrade these directly. And there's element containers here. Which we need drenched aluminum bore and burnt glass. Burnt glass requires fire. White rock requires earth. And then drenched aluminum requires water. And then, and there's the, can we make creative ones? No, okay. There's the reservoirs, which need pristine gems, okay. Right, so I need three more of these. Um, right. Wow. Oh. I hope they get these bugs fixed soon. All right, well, I need to come back with some ladders because this note is way up in the air. All right, element container, boom. Extractor. There it goes. And now it's going to start extracting fairly quickly too, actually. This is a pretty small container though. But there's some air. Now I need to do this to the other nodes we have. Uh, we've got a fire node there. We've got water. Another fire. Earth was like way over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Earth is annoying. It's all the way down over that way. I need to find another earth, that's earth that is closer. I mean, this one here, this air node is right outside of our base, so. Well, that's kind of annoying. All right, oh, there's another tower I could take down. I don't need the resources anymore though, so. All 
All right. Well, more nodes, I guess. All right, we're back. And we've got... I need ladders to get that last one. I forgot to grab the air one before I left. Um, right. So... Now, the only thing about this is I have to craft these one at a time. And then sometimes it does that. At last episode, it was working so beautifully. And, I mean, it, it was working faster, and it wasn't spewing items into the world, and today it's just spitting items into the world again. The rather annoying... All right, well, at least the Aurora's out tonight, so we get something to look at. All right, well. Yeah, that's <laughs> a little far away for the travel anchor to be picked up. I think it's like 64 blocks is all the more they reach. All right, but we have our four element containers now. And you're probably done over here, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Alright, so we need Element Infuser, one of these guys. goes. Taking some of the elemental energy, you can now use it to imbue mundane items to enrich them with the elemental properties. Different types of elemental infusions that you'll need, according to our research notes, but the first of which should be water for trenched aluminum and white stone. And um, right. Uh, that is not as good as the aluminum that I have. I've got like a Close to 30, 30, 30 on the aluminum, I think. All right, so water. Set you down. Boom. You go on top. And... Grab like four, right? Wow, it takes half of that reservoir per... Oh, that is... Unfortunate. You're going to give me a little bit of aluminum back. Oh, element container, though. Hello, that's nice. Now, how expensive are those again? I need two drenched aluminum and I need burnt glass. Okay. So that is now empty. All right, there's that. Let me get my fire down, I guess. Um, and glass. So fire. Infuser and then glass. And then we need white rock 
White Rock is also... White Rock is Earth. So... Earth. And... Oh, it's gilded black stone in the last. Okay. I've got that, I think. Some of it, anyway. Oh, yeah. And cool, we do get more white rock back. Okay, then we get glowstone and gold, or uh, blackstone and gold. All right, now if I wanted like gilded blackstone, then what is the recipe for that? I want to make more. Ah, solidification chamber recipe. Lava, gold nuggets, and blackstone. Okay. Well, we're not doing that right now. So. There we go. And then you go into... It wasn't the slabs, was it? I thought it was. Okay, element binder's a thing. No, actually, I wanted to make these. No, it's just regular white rock. Whoops. Okay, I just wasted some white stone. We need regular element pipes. Oh, those require drenched aluminum as well. Okay. Back out I go. All right, so these things take forever to fill up, but at the same time, they last a really long time. Uh, I did 40 drenched aluminum, I think, and that's all the more it drained out of it. As opposed to being, you know, two for these small guys. Um, speaking of which, do I have? I do have some pipes on me. Okay. You go there. You can go there and... Nope. Not that. That. We'll pipe that. And then I think I just... Yeah, right click with an empty hand. And we'll just go ahead and drain this over to there. So we still have to run out and go fill these things up manually for now, but these will last quite a bit longer. I mean, that's all the more that the small one filled up the container here. And that means I'm going to put these away for now, some of that, and probably don't need more blackstone or gold for right now. Other thing I want to check on, how are you doing over here? <laughs> God. Oh, I got a long time to wait yet. It's backed up with biodiesel now. Okay, cool. And got five stacks of glycerol. Ethanol is a little short, but that's fine. Vegetable oil. How are we doing the seeds? Oh, we got a lot of seeds still. Sweet. That is awesome. So I'm just going to let this all back stuff. And I'm just waiting for this to drain out. And then I can put this basic mechanical pipe here in its place, and then we'll be fine. Uh, you should be, yep, four and a half. 4.5 even. Perfect. And that means I can charge up stuff over here. Because I put a charging station back here. Okay. Let's uh, do that instead. And this will at least get it up to four and a half bars, which will actually last a pretty decent amount of time. So, I'm okay with that. Alright. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.